Is slavery going to be in the mar? That's the question we will be answering today. So when you talk about slavery, of course it historically happened, so it's inevitably, inevitably going to have to be in the mar, of course. So uh, in regards to, to that, to that point I just mentioned, uh, I think the best case scenario would be to have like a slavery state modifier. So here for, North, for South Carolina, North Carolina as such, I think South Carolina had about for a 40% slave population, so like maybe a minus 30% rec recruitable population and maybe some extra con construction speed would be like the appropriate measures for that if it were added. And then you got states with like negligible like slave populations or like over here and like f the far north of New York and Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. I'm pretty sure Northern Maine had like fucking zero slaves because they were just native. It maybe did have some slaves because the natives were involved in slavery too. Let's not forget the chapter of American history. And then got also other other states in the Americas. They also practice slavery, like France, Britain, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain. They all had slavery, but to different extents. I don't. Did Florida have many slaves? I do not know. So regarding that. Yeah, a state modifier for slavery, and of course that with the natives, they also own slaves, and that was kind of like the economic system, it was like a precursor to capitalism, you could say, slavery, more or less, that's kind of what it was. Uh, I, I don't think, like, did Mexico have have any slavery? I know they had some black people over here in Mexico, but... I don't think, like, the interior of, like, Louisiana had any slavery. Like, of course, like, this part of Louisiana had, like, slavery. There were, of course, Creoles and everything. And, like, the the less populated areas, they kind of didn't have any slaves. Like, this area was only, like, 10% slaves. And this was, and I think, like, Tennessee, Kentucky didn't have that many slaves by this time. I might be wrong. In like the northwestern territories, I don't think they had any slaves or any like black people in general. So, and also you got the, of course the European slaves that the Ottomans captured. The Circassians uh, were still being enslaved, but of course, uh, Russia liberated, uh, yeah, Crimea from the colonizing Tatars. So that was great. So Russia was kind of freed they did have serfdom but that was nothing close to slavery it was more of a economic bondage other than slavery it was not slavery like they could be freed in my opinion like economic bondage is a whole different thing from like actual slavery i would have definitely preferred to be a, a serf in like russia than like a slave today or a slave back then even so yeah you had the janissaries and the ottomans would want to represent that if the ottomans ever get content yeah the berbers they went fucking crazy with slavery like these states like the americans were fucking pissed with them fucking europe in general like they fuck like tunisia algeria morocco like in libya too they went like crazy with slavery even more than the Ottomans, I think, even though they like they even captured like Circassian slaves when Circassia was like an Ottoman ally. I, f I, f I even think some of them became slaves when they like uh, fled the genocide uh, when uh, Russia took over. So, kind of what they get for allying with the Ottomans in some senses, you could say, in certain aspects. What was even slavery and like? Indian China and stuff. I do not know. Can I don't think Canada had any slaves, barely any. There were some in New Brunswick, I think. There's like a fucking 500 like black people that have been there for 300 years or something. Sh check it up. I, f I think it actually happened. So I want to make this a pretty in-depth video because uh, I think slavery is an important topic. It's a uh, even pretty important today like conservatives say that black people are like free in america 
they're kind of not telling the truth. They're kind of, they kind, they're kind of telling a sugar-coated uh, like uh, fairy and everything. Black people don't really have more rights. They've been told they have more rights, but they do not really have more rights in this current system. That's more of a myth that they do. It's more of like a brainwashing than like actual truth, actual truth speaking. In this aspect, I kind of, kind of agree with parts of the leftist perspective, but not really. I'm more of a conservative guy, nine times out of 10, more than nine times out of 10, if I'm being honest, if I'm being 100% honest in uh, this state. Yeah. Tech, I don't know if Texas had any slaves by then. I Western Texas had a few st slaves, but I think they got there after like 1836, but I might be wrong. Because I think the American like settlers in Texas when they came here like uh, brought brought a few fucking slaves with them and shit. The Dutch were like fucking evil. Yeah, they, uh, there were even some f like a black slave that was like freed. Like Pushkin, he's he's a uh, partly black actually. If you guys didn't know. He's actually a black African, partly. Either from Cameroon or Ethiopia. Somewhere in Cameroon or Ethiopia. So, if you look up Pushkin, like the Russian fucking whatever he did. Wrote some books or some shit. He was actually partly black because like Peter the Great was some fucking weird ass fuck. He like, bought, he, like fucking freed a slave and some shit. And then, like, a Greek woman, like, uh, she did on him, and she had, like, a white baby, and he, he got fucking mad. Like, because uh, a white woman don't, doesn't want that shit. Okay. I think that's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed, like, this more conversational video, in your opinion. So, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video, of course. Goodbye, in my opinion, always.